So I got a question today about creating a point and coordinate system at an asserted center of mass, which is an interesting question. Um, it sounds like you want to use that maybe for some construction downstream. Uh, but yeah, we can we can do that. Uh, and let's look at a couple concepts there. So uh, we, of course, can um, have an asserted center of mass. Uh, we can assert that this particular one is asserted in the solid body. Uh, so the mass is asserted here, which is kind of irrelevant for this point purpose, but but here we have a, an asserted center of mass here. Uh, and this center of mass is, is is up kind of over in this region here relative to the, the WCS here. It's absolute actually. So there's X is here, Y is here. So about 100, about 50 and, and up just a teeny bit. Um, the, the other one we can see here is a, uh, let's get back into timestamp order. There's a measure body on the actual CAD body here that is giving us this, this center of mass relative to the actual geometry, right? And, and then the users created a, a datum coordinate system on top of that. And um, th this is what we can do here. So, so relative to the mass properties down here, we do have some customer defaults in here that we can use to create expressions relative to those uh, mass properties. And so for instance here, if we come to materials mass and to the, the uh, part attributes tab here, we have the ability here to come down for instance and come and say we want to create an expression for the center of mass here. This is, this is going to create a point expression at this location and uh, we can do that. Now we don't have one to do a coordinate system there. We, we can come down here to principal axes, right? Uh, but, and we can export those, but we, we don't have a way to create a, a coordinate system directly for those. Um, so we're gonna do a little workaround for that. <laughs> but, but with that coordinate, with this uh, environment variable, sorry, with this uh, customer default set, and uh, I've, I've actually restarted NX here, um, if I update the properties for this part, you will notice here in the expressions, if we do tools, expressions, or control E, that we have here now a mass prop center of mass expression. Again, that's driven by mass management that is the, the location here. Okay. Now one little kind of word of caution. <laughs> if we're using a, an expression driven by mass management, then anytime we update the mass properties, we're going to start to create this in all of the parts out there. And as we create this in all of the parts, it's going to need to load the expressions partition for each of the parts out there. And that is not part of minimal load, right? Expressions is part of a, at least a partial load there. So, so in order to create these points in all the parts, we're going to need to at least partially load all the parts to do that. Uh, so just a word of caution there. That's that's part of part of the baggage of what how, how this works. But at any rate, we can create that expression, right? And once we've created that expression, we can come in and create a point and say we want to do a point at an expression or by expression. Choose that by expression option, and we can choose that mass prop center of mass as the location uh, for this point. And, and as we do that, there you see it'll create an associative point out there at that location. Okay, now relative to the assertion, if we come in here and say, for instance, for this body, uh, we want to move that y coordinate, this this kind of this direction, it's 50 right now, and if we want to make that say 250, then as we update the mass here, we'll see that point update as well. Okay, that's going to follow that expression over to that new location. So again, we have a point entity now uh, that's in in the model, this point now that's being driven by the expression coming from uh, the mass properties tool. Okay, so that's kind of the first step. Okay, uh, so with that, uh, again, yeah, we can take that. Let's bring that back to say 150 just for fun. Do, do, do. There we go. And uh, again, that'll that'll move there. Okay, now coordinate system here. Um, again, we don't have a way to do that directly, okay? But we can use pattern geometry or a pattern feature, actually, if we want to, to, to really copy this one over to that location. So if this orientation that, that you're getting from this one is good, 
Uh, and if you want, let me say it the other way around. If you want just a regular coordinate system, of course, at this point, you can come and create a datum CSIS um, at this at this new center of mass here, or at this new asserted point, right? And uh, and we can do that, right? So we can say that that we're going to create that there. It's going to be associative. We want it at that location, and, and we can just say okay, and and this will create then uh, again new coordinate system that is sitting um sitting at that point right and, and again as if we come and, and we we change our center of mass here then that uh that coordinate system oh it didn't come <laughs> let's do that a little a little more stickily <laughs> so let's come back here to this guy and delete that let's do that once more with feeling okay create a datum CSIS here and this time, uh, instead of dynamic, yeah, let's do one of the options here where it's going to uh, stick to something. So let's do like an origin, actually do an origin x, x, x y axis. So x axis, y axis, origin, let's do that. So our origin point here, we're going to do this and we'll choose an existing point this time, right? So this, this should be associative there x-axis here will will have it be the x-axis and the y will have it be the y so this should be associative now so let's do that there we go and now as we come and edit this offset let's make that 150 as we update here this should come along for the ride now there we go so that's associative okay so that's that's one option right uh, i'm going to hide that one here just because i want to do this this uh rotated one as well um, this took a second to figure out, but, <laughs> but, but, but figured it out. So, so here we can use pattern feature here if we want to. So for instance, we could start with this coordinate system that's on the other, on the other side here. This is the statum coordinate system eight. That's this guy. Okay. Um, it does say choose your pattern method carefully because we're not going to change it later, <laughs> but I'm going to do a linear pattern here and, uh, and we're going to do, uh, specify the vector and the distance here in, in an interesting way, right? So our vector here, we're going to choose the point to point method, two points here for our vector. And this again will be associative here, right? So I'm going to come to this, this location and grab the, the origin point there for the, the coordinate system, and then choose this point over here, existing point here as the second point, right? So that'll get my vector and that'll be associative, right? Now that's the direction. Now the distance here, I need to make that associative as well. And so what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to use a measure on the distance. And uh, for this one, similarly, we're going to go, uh, we can go point to point. We can do object to object because we have actually points here for the objects. So, so I'm going to come again to here and grab that point uh, origin of the datum coordinate system there. So that's my first object. And my second object is going to be this other point. And that distance there you see is being saved. This will be associative uh, here for the uh, for the distance. Okay, so we've got an associative direction, associative distance here, and we're going to do a linear pattern with two instances. So this will do the, the first and, and the second here. Um, and, and this will be a simple pattern, right? We're just going to copy it over there. So if we say okay there, here you see we've got that, that datum coordinate system now is uh, copied over there. Okay. So here again, uh, if we come in and edit our uh, assertion, this now, when we update, should remain associative, and it does, right? So, so this is a method, right, if we want to, <laughs> to, to create an associative point and coordinate system at an asserted um, center of mass. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a corner case. <laughs> it's a unique use case here. First time I've come across it. Uh, but it is possible to do. Okay, so I hope you find that useful.